I'm Dustin with SDHQ. Today we're going to go over some of our power tank options and our refill procedures and protocols. Here we have some 10 pounds and some 15 pounds on hand. We also stock a wide variety of brackets and billet accessories. We have all the different hose options Power Tank has to offer. We have their inflators, deflators, and a wide variety of parts to choose from to upgrade your Power Tank. Let's go ahead and head back to our refill station and I can show you how this is done. This here is a perfect example of how we prefer you bring your Power Tank in for its refill. Completely empty and without the regulator. If there is any CO2 remaining in the tank, it will result in a 48 hour turnaround as opposed to our standard 24 hour turnaround. The reason for the 48 hour turnaround is rush draining your power tank causes a block of ice to form in the bottom of the tank, thus leaving it unsafe to fill to its proper level. So this here is a tank that we just rush drained and you can see it has about a four pound block of ice in the bottom of it now. And so if we were to go and try to fill this with 10 pounds of CO2, it would have 14 pounds of it, which is actually unsafe. So this block of ice in the bottom, having to wait for this to defrost is the reason it will take a 48 hour turnaround. Here I'll take you through the process of refilling the customer's 10 pound tank. Here we have our liquid CO2 tank being pumped via our transfer pump into the power tank, which I monitor via a digital scale. We have a 10 pound tank. I'm looking for exactly 10 pounds of CO2. Any more exceeds the recommended limit and is no longer safe. That concludes our power tank video for today. If you have any questions concerning your power tank or power tank accessories, don't hesitate to give us a call. And remember, empty power tank, 24 hours. Power tank with anything in it, 48 hours.